Hey everybody, I've got something of a cold right now, so if my voice bothers you, well, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. Anyway, combining new age game concepts with age-old gaming icons can be a fun experiment, despite how easily fans of those icons may be angered. Pac-Man has already done his rounds in all sorts of genres he doesn't belong in, from side-scrolling adventure games to platformers and more. Luckily, the Match 3 genre seems to be the perfect home for that flapping, pellet-chomping yellow puck which is where Pac-Chomp comes in. He belongs in simple games, and no modern genre offers more arcade-style simplicity and replayability than the monster Bejeweled created. Pac-Man himself is a lonely piece on this game board. Matching three ghosts of the same color eliminates them, while eliminating four will cause a special power-up to spawn. If you can maneuver Pac-Man and these items to each other, all sorts of benefits will be activated. You can eliminate every ghost of a certain color, eliminate the columns and rows that Pac-Man acts as an intersection point to, and a few more. Eliminating five or more ghosts brings out a power pellet, which lets you take control of Pac-Man directly as you're free to go anywhere on the board and eat anything. Eating other power-ups in this phase is worth an absurd amount of points, so don't be afraid to chomp them down. All of this is a race against the clock, of course, as combos stave off the timer as well as increase your level. If you're looking for more of a challenge, Hardcore Mode is the same as Normal Mode, but with a faster countdown timer. Scramble Mode gives you a fixed time limit and asks you to get as many points as possible, and there is a more easygoing Endless Mode if you just want to relax and play. Every time you level up in any mode, the board is rearranged and Pac-Man spawns elsewhere. I don't know if it's just my horrid luck, but Pac-Man almost always seem to spawn into a side or corner, but if that happens to you, you can always rotate entire sections of the board by hitting their corresponding buttons. This adds another fun, strategic element to keeping the game alive. The visuals are colorful and, well, exactly what you'd expect from a Pac-Man game. It's not totally optimized for tablets, so ignore that slight fuzziness of my game screen. The game is listed as free, but that's just a sample, of course. If you want to unlock Normal Mode past level 6 along with every other mode, you'll have to drop $4. Honestly, I'm not sure this game does enough differently from other Match 3 classics to be worth $4. It feels kind of like Namco expecting you to pay more just because an iconic game character is featured. You should definitely check out the free sample and judge that for yourself, though. This is a solid Match 3 title, and hearing remixed Pac-Man music is always a fun experience. This has been Andrew with Appalicious.com, helping you find mobile apps you'll love.